Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. If you are a follower of my channel, you know that most of the time I talk about homeschool stuff and diff just different things pertaining to that. But today I wanted to come and talk to you guys a little bit about um, this whole craziness that's happening, this whole coronavirus that's happening, um, which has created a lot of fear and a lot of panic and anxiety in a lot of people, um, even amongst Christian believers. And I wanted to share my heart with you guys. Um, and as I was sitting and praying and just kind of asking the Holy Spirit, how can I help the situation? Because I know a lot of people are saying, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. And you don't, you shouldn't panic and, and all of this other stuff. And, and, and that's okay. And the Bible says that we shouldn't have a spirit of fear. And it says not to be anxious about anything. But the reason the Bible says, do not be afraid is because God knew that we would be afraid. <laughs> God knew that we would have times in our lives, whether it's our own personal spiritual battles that we go through, or whether it's you know outside battles that, in, that affect us, or <laughs> viruses, or the world just kind of shutting down. He knew that things like this would happen. And so that's why he had to tell us over and over and over again not to be afraid. But something else that he told us is to be still and to know that He is God. He is sovereign. Does that mean that we will never be worried and we will never be afraid? No, it doesn't. But that's why we have the Holy Spirit. He gave us this good counselor so that when the times that we are afraid and we are anxious, that we can be still and know that He is God and allow the Holy Spirit to calm our fears and to bring us that joy of our salvation back into our lives. And so I challenge you in the middle of all of these cancellations and it's seeming like the world is completely shutting down. Maybe that's God's voice telling you to be still. You have no more distractions. And even if you have to go to work, your church has probably been canceled. Does that mean that we don't do church? No, because we are the church. But maybe this is God trying to tell us, stop what you're doing, stop all of the busyness, and just know that I am God. Maybe he's telling us, spend time with me. Why are you out there doing all of these things that don't matter? Spend time with me. I will give you joy. I will give you peace. Let me be the one that you turn to when times get hard. Let me be the one that you turn to every day. So during this time of isolation, or I don't even know what it's called, social, social isolation, I'm not really sure what the official term is but during this time of quarantine take this as a precious gift and a message from God saying to be still and to just love him because you know what we don't need all of those other distractions all we need is him he is the only thing he is enough everything else is just so take this time to be still. If you have any specific prayer requests, please comment below and let me know because this is the time that we can gather together. Maybe we can't physically be together, but we can gather together as a body believers and pray and love on each other. Maybe go out into the community and help an elderly person that can't get groceries on their own or something. Contact your local church. See if they have some a system set in place already for something like that that you can come along and help with. Or just knock on your next door neighbor's door and see if there's something that you can do for them. During this time, it's important for us to be a light in our world, but in order for us to be that light, we need to have that light. In order for us to give, we have to let the Lord, the Holy Spirit, strengthen us. So again, I challenge you guys during this time to be still. I hope you're having a blessed day. Bye.